Today, we're going to break down Joshua Kelly, fourth round pick, standout from UCLA. Coach, before we get into some of these plays, what'd you like about Joshua coming out of the Pac-12, and how do you think he's going to fit into your running backs room? Uh, first and foremost, I met Josh at the Combine uh, this year. Just first impressions were great. Uh, beaming kid, smiling always, great personality, upbeat. So that we kind of hit it off pretty good to start. In that regards, uh, the more tape I watched of Josh, the more I kind of uh, started to like like what he was doing. Um, you see his power, his explosiveness, uh, ball security, something that's big with him. Um, you also see his ability to make defenders miss down the field, which is good. But just a combination of those things, and, and the more you get to know somebody and, and watch a little bit more of their film, I think you really get to see that, hey, this is somebody that you'd like to work with. All right, Coach, speaking of the film, I know you got some plays lined up for us. What you got first? Uh, first play we got here is just a, a wide zone play, an outside zone play. So as he gets started on this play, we get a little bit of penetration by the nose guard there. He's able to just veer off his path a little bit, all right, keeping the course of the play still, just getting out of harm's way there. And then once he starts to see daylight here, he sees a crease. He's able to put his foot in the ground and get downhill. Obviously, this right here, if you can see it, kind of that explosion away from the defender and then finding a way to get in the end zone, which is always big. He talks about wanting to be a, a versatile back, be able to do a lot of stuff. He says he likes doing some of the inside stuff, uh, but the outside stuff he, he's good at as well. Yeah, definitely. I think that's the thing you see with Josh is he's got no problem mixing it up inside, but then you see some of his skill set uh, come to shine when he gets out in the open field too as far as what he can do. All right, Coach, what do we got cooked up for the second play? All right, so as we see Josh now working the inside, all right, pressing his aiming point, able to kind of make a lateral slide here to try to avoid, again, that defensive lineman in the middle there, and then working to the next level. We talk about one-on-ones, winning our one-on-ones. This is something Josh does. He works the hurdle here, all right? You have third and 14, you're able to hand the ball off and get a first down. That's a big conversion here. So, again, does a good job of here pressing the line of scrimmage. All right, he knows they're not blocking that backside defensive end, so he's going to have to keep this thing in here tight. All right, and then just being able to find that next window and then turn the Jets on here. All right, burst with speed, get through all that trash. All right, then one-on-one -on -one in the field, finding ways to make these guys miss. Finding ways to get, make these guys miss. He ends up going over the top. Wow. Again, you notice the ball security right here late. All right, big-time conversion there on third and long. Listen, Coach, I know a rookie, it's going to be a little more difficult this year in terms of not having an off-season program. But Josh's potential, how do you see him maybe complementing Austin and Justin? I think that's a, an important thing for any room, obviously, you know, the makeup of the room. And you got guys in Austin and Justin who have been around for a couple years now. So you, you feel like you have a pretty good understanding of what those guys can do. And I think the first thing you notice about Josh when comparing him to those two guys is he's obviously a, a bigger body, um, just carries his weight. Uh, real well. I mean, you look at him, I don't think you realize how big he is, but then when you watch the tape and you watch him run, I think you see how physical of a runner he is. Um, he's trying to get downhill, and he's trying to get downhill with a purpose. So as far as just complimentary fitting in the room, I think that's something that, that that's beneficial, you know, whether that's guys that were in the room already or one of these young rookies, Josh, or, or another one of these guys that can step in and kind of fulfill some of those roles. That would be an ideal situation for for that. All these guys have a unique skill set and they can all play. And however that unfolds over the course of the year, I'm looking forward to uh, putting that product on the field. Yeah, it's a, a young room, but a talented room. And I know we got a, a third play of Joshua's here. All right, this is just some of the power we talked about. Not a whole lot on the edge here. So he tries to muscle it up in there. Does a good job of getting his pads down, protecting the ball through it, and then running through these arm tackles here. Okay, you can see his leg drive there. He powers out of that. And then here's that burst again we talked about as far as just creating some yardage after contact. So creates that yardage here from the end zone here. Okay, taking his course, not a whole lot of work outside. They turn him back in. Does a good job keeping his feet here. A little bit of balance right there. Staying on his feet, running through this arm tackle here, keeping those legs driving through that, coming out of it. And then get downhill again. More south, getting downhill. Yeah, so what you see here is a guy who has the ability to get those tough yards, but then also after contact, the ability to, to break free and, and score. Yeah, for sure. That's been an emphasis in our room the whole time we've been meeting this offseason. It's just 
finding ways to get in the end zone. I mean, touchdowns win games for the NFL. Field goals get you beat a lot of the time. So, and however you get there, everybody's way is going to be different. But that's something that we're emphasizing just as far as creating extra yardage, you know, getting a first down, battling through those piles. Same thing down at the goal line in the red zone. They're tough yards to get, real tough yards to get. But find ways to get in there. Find ways to get in there. Reward yourself. Reward your team. All right, next up, we're talking about that tight red zone here. It comes right here. Okay, so we're down in there tight. We get that head of steam running. We want to be able to power this thing into the end zone. Here, just a little lateral step. All right, he's feeling that wash. Okay, the tight end does a good job just washing that defender down. He just kind of slides to that next window. All right, slides to that next window. And then he knows he's going to have to go beat one down here in the red zone. Okay, and that's what he does. Does a good job with his pad level, getting his pads down. And knowing, hey, if I can power through this guy, I'll be able to get in the end zone, and that's what he does. One thing I've been emphasizing to the to the rookies and all the young guys is we have got to be able to pass protect. That is an absolute must for us. So the first thing I noticed about Josh here that I like is just him closing the distance. Okay, we always say versus these smaller defenders versus these little guys, they usually don't want to try to power through you. They'd like to try to make you miss. Okay. Well, if we can close that distance, it's a lot easier for us to get our hands on that guy. So that's the first thing I know about him, just closing the distance. We talk about our set, just getting our feet set, getting a good base, all right? And then as we approach the block now, we want to be able to try to make first contact, okay, which means we're going to try to shoot our hands, all right? We want to try to shoot our hands and absorb some of this contact, okay? He ends up taking a little bit of this, but we see it anchored down, and then he's able to get his feet back in the ground, sit it down, and just keep on battling. All right, this is a long time for a quarterback to hold the ball, and we got to be able to protect for as long as he needs, okay? So this is good just from him as far as just battling through that, fighting all the way to the end. Final thing for you, Joshua, far from a finished product, right? In the NFL, obviously, you are going to have to work on some things entering the league. What do you want to see Joshua work on right when he gets to training camp, right when you guys can get your hands on him in late July? I think just technique and fundamentals for these young guys, they have not taken one rep with this. So something as simple as that, you just can't skip past all that and try to get to the end. Um, there's got to be constant, consistent daily growth from these guys rep by rep. And they're not going to have as many reps as they normally did. So I think that's important for these young guys is, hey, what do we want? How do we want it to look? All right. And then how do we get it improved from there? What's happening, Chargers fans? If you guys want to see some more, click right here. Check it out. It's pretty simple. Right here. Check it out.